The day starts as the sun peeks over a residential area in rural Shaanxi province. Primary school students, with their whole lives ahead of them, pour into Wenani School. Well, they have no pressure and are happy and optimistic all day long. We're delighted to see the students so lively and vigorous. We hope that they could grow up to become the talents of our nation. But what kind of life will they lead? Many come from very poor families. Leading the kind of lifestyle Chinese President Xi Jinping is vowing to eliminate by 2020. Fifty-year-old Feng Yingwei has been in education more than 30 years and sees changes such as free school uniforms. Our students don't have to worry about clothing or food anymore. They have free meals a day at school for free. It's a difficult and at times backbreaking job. Liu Haiyang owns this bit of land and has a contract with the local town. Lunchtime provides a welcome break to Liu and the locals he's hiring to do the job. It may not seem like much, but people in the region make about 20,000 yuan a year, or about 3,500 U.S. dollars. It's far more money than the 3,000 yuan even poorer people in some autonomous regions make. I own this orchard, 10 acres, and my job is farming the land, applying pesticides, and collect firewood. Mid-afternoon finds Liu Hancheng tending his orchard. He will use the wood for heat and to cook. The United Nations has praised China's efforts to lift nearly 68 million people out of poverty over the past five years. That's roughly 37,000 people a day. In the last generation or so, China has improved the quality of life for hundreds of millions of people by lifting them out of extreme poverty. Today, the poverty rate rests at about 3 or 4 percent. But in a nation of 1.4 billion, you're still talking about an awful lot of people. We were working somewhere else, and we came back to our hometown last year. We are too old to do labor anymore, so we came back and built this house. As long as we can make a living, it's okay. Miao Puying says she and her husband are getting by, and right now adding a bathroom to this simple structure. With no land to grow crops, fruit, or raise livestock, neighbors share what they can. China is vowing to spend billions more in the coming years to alleviate poverty. As the school day comes to an end, we hear the familiar refrain, eliminating poverty in China will not be easy. We can feel the heavy burden on our shoulders as headmistress and teachers. But they also sense hope that these students will have a better life than their parents. Sean Cadlips, CGTN, in Shanxi province.